Today, I'm making Dave choose between some of his favorite children. Not his actual children, just bourbon children. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to do what? Uh, I think we're just going to call uh, the video Pick One. Oh, great. So basically, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give Dave, we're going to do, we have uh, <coughs> two, four, six, eight, ten. I have ten bottles. Ten bottles. And Ooh. I'm going to put two up at a time, and Dave has to pick one. Okay? Mm. And basically, the rule of thumb is you get one, and then you can never, ever have the other one ever again. So. <laughs> He's going to put, I, 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 honestly speaking. I have no clue what's down Dave there. Dave didn't even know we were doing this video until literally I just said it like a couple minutes ago. So uh, I didn't give him any headway about it. And even if I did remind him of this, he would have forgotten. So I have full faith that. Here's the truth. <laughs> I'm already going to figure that I'm going to completely regret this because he's going to put some st something really decent out at first. And I'm going to have to... I ain't putting garbage with something good. I'm going to have to put some... Something that I really like down, and he's saying that I could never drink it again. So, pretty much, I mean, this that, that's that's I'm in the a lose lose situation, th guys. This is the game we're playing, by the way. If you all like this idea, uh, this is kind of a new idea, let us know in the comments below. And if you all like it, then I'll let Dave do it with me. So, and then yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, well, and if you all really like it, we'll just keep doing it. Yeah, so not good. all the time. All right, let's have some fun. Time. All right, so first, uh, up to bat, so. Uh, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. First Jack Daniels Barrel Proof ride. Right? I, I mean, both of those are good, but I mean, truthfully, I mean, there's really only one option here, and it's the Barrel Proof ride. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, now could this just be like one really good one? It could be. Like, couldn't this just be, like, the greatest one ever? But, like, so, you're just going to totally... Like, we all know how great this is. And you're just, just totally, like, without even thinking about it, just get rid of it. But if you're saying, like, this bottle, and it lasts forever because it's the <laughs> no, only liquid No, it's like there. the brand of the bottle, right? So you'll have different picks of it. I'm, Same thing with this one. I'm, and this is a 130 pick, by the way. Yeah. But again, you're talking this, this varies, too. And I just have a... T like... Honestly speaking, the 2020 uh, special release, a it is a different animal, but it made me kind of fall in love with rye a little bit. <laughs> and so I have a soft spot for the Jack Daniels rye in my heart. And since this one's going to be readily available a lot. <laughs> well, it's not readily available right not, now. No, it's not yet, but it's going to be in theory. <laughs> in theory. I'm going to take the rye. Okay. If I'm being honest with you. I'd probably take the ride too. Yeah. Just because I can get closer to this and I can't get closer to this. Yeah. So I'll let you slide those that way though. Am I going to keep one out there just. No, to... I, ain't not, no I ain't letting you keep anything. All right. Uh, and do I get to take these home? That's the real question. No, you are got to take all the bottles home from the trip. That's probably true. All right. Next one. Uh, I'm going to throw a little bit of a, like a real tough one here. I, I'm kind this of closing my eyes just so I can. Michter's 10 year. Bourbon versus the Jack Daniels 12 year. And I promise you guys, this is the last Brown Foreman product slash Jack Daniels. I, I'm going to be, I, I'm going to be honest. This one's kind of easy for me. This is easy for you? Yeah, this is easy for me. Um, you know my love for Mictors. And I don't necessarily love all of these releases. No, but this year, look guys, I'm telling you all right now. This year's 10 year bourbon I think for right now, it's my favorite release so far this year. <laughs> it's pretty dang close. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is kind of easy for me. Like this, as an overarching, I'm a Michter's fan. Like I love. Well, we're Michter's. a fan of both these. Yeah, I am a fan. There's like, no obviously the, it's Jack Daniels. You all know I, our. I'm going to tell Jack you Daniels. right now, and we haven't done the video yet, but whenever we do the best so far this year. This is these are going to be out of like my top five. This is probably out of my top three. Yeah, with these two being yeah. Here. So uh, I I do have a certain love for Mictors, and uh, this this bottle in particular is really special. Uh, and 
it's not, it really isn't that difficult. Like I like this bottle and it's good, mm -hmm. uh, but this one's far superior. I wonder how they're gonna do in the blinds. Uh, See, here, okay, so here, here's where, here's my take on this. I do agree that I think this one's better. I bet you this one blinds better than this one. Maybe. I think it's, I, I think it's gonna end up blinding better. It's gonna make me sad because I love this bottle so freaking yeah. much. Uh, this is a good bottle. So, all right. All right, next two. So have you not prepared these together and you're just choosing what's on the ground? Cause that. No, I'm debating on which order I want to do. Redwood Empire versus Evan Williams. Actually, I thought this would be one of the tougher ones for you. It's actually not. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, not, no, I appreciate you put them together because they're two of my like go-to like mm -hmm. primer bourbons mm -hmm. and my everyday bourbons. But since we blinded and did this, and this fell really mm -hmm. far in our, it did. like it was it like mid-range in our little low-tier, it did uh, bourbon. Uh, and you all know our love for Redwood Empire. Well, and we love both these bottles. Yes, we do. Well, I mean, honestly, out of all the bottles I have here, I think these are. I, I think they're all great bottles. This one, I I drink like I drink so much of this one now that mm -hmm. I I feel like I would be, um, I, I would I would be cheating on someone if I if I did something else. You you have such extreme loyalty. I, to I, I really do. As a matter of fact, I just ran out and I should have. I was at liquor barn today. I should have picked it up and I forgot because I was I got sidetracked with something. Uh, but yeah, it's Redwood Empire. I feel like this ball at one point in time was like. Like you had a nipple for it. That's how much you drank of it. I did. I <laughs> I drank a lot of it. It, and I still I still like it a lot. <laughs> but I find myself going to this. Fair enough. More and more. This is not. And going, this. And by the way, this list is not going as far as what I had because I thought he would be like debating these a lot. And more. this, I'm telling you, since we did the blind and this one, have I, have we ruined it for you? Ruined? No, but. It has definitely been knocked <laughs> This and Evan Williams Single Barrel have been knocked down my list. That is true. That's very true. All right, next one. So now these two, I'm pretty sure I know which one you're going to pick. Uh -huh. But on this one, though, I want you to try them. So do I get to see what I'm trying? Or yeah, gonna, no, 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 you get to try them. them. Okay. But I'm putting, I think arguably maybe your favorite bottle on this entire list, which is your mm -hmm. Remus 5. Mm. And I still verse that, that, wild turkey twelve year. That one I got. Yeah. Remember the the one I got. Yeah. I still have not opened that yet, just because I'm like, it's such a special bottle. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to. It's gonna have to be a special occasion when I open that mug. All right, let's. Just, I'll, I'll let you kind of figure, or I'll let you kind of. You have to do this quickly. You can't take yeah, yeah. all day. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do a lot of sniffing. So I'm the, re the, the reason why I do this is because Dave and I always go back to the Wild Turkey 12 year and how great it is. And we obviously know how great, you know, the Remus 5 was. So. Yeah, that's a good nose. <laughs> but I feel like these in some ways, though, are really comparable to one another. Like, they're actually... I think there's a lot of things I, I I do have an opinion on what I think like between like the nose, palate, and finish are, but I'm curious. <clears throat> still great. That one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's still still really good. <laughs> <laughs> Go to neat, pick up a bottle. Yeah, it's true. It, it's so crazy the fact that we have a bar here in Louisville that just sells these by the, like the truckload. Yeah. Gosh, this is such a good bottle too. I should have drank this one first. No. Oh, 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 oh. You see, this is where this is where this kind of stuff comes down to. <clears throat> That's so good. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. Ah! I finally got him on one. He acts like you. this is so easy. I hate you. Maybe we should have. Put it in the comments below. I totally should have had him just like trying these as we're going. 
Because, you know, this is to, to figure out what <clears throat> yeah. he likes, right? Like, ultimately, in the day, this is to figure out what he likes the most. It's also me screwing with Dave and torturing him all at the same time while he's drinking great whiskey. I don't want to say it. I feel like I'm cheating again on somebody. What but it's, it's this one. Okay, so part of the reason why I'm going to try this, so I thought this one would blow this one out of the water, and then I blinded them. I didn't blind them, but I tried them. And I was like, oh, crap, this is actually a whole lot quicker. I still think the palate's better on this, but the finish and the nose on this is so much better. There's way more going on with this one. Yes. Okay, so that was kind of my thing, yeah. too. I think this one's a little bit more complex yeah. than this Ramus batch. And I remember how well this did in blinds before and how great this was before. Whenever we did because it, it was in our top five, this didn't make our top ten. But it's, uh, it's all based, I feel like, for us, it's all based on where we try it, too. I feel like, I mean, it's part of it, yeah. yeah. But I mean, you're only trying two things. And you're no, no, here, here, yeah. This has got so much more going on. This is still a super smooth, super awesome pour. Like yeah. it is. But if you're looking for complexity and having a little bit more bite to it, mm -hmm. this has it all day long. Mm -hmm. And I have a tendency now to go for something that makes me feel like I'm drinking it. Good. So. It's the Wild Turkey 101 12 here. Well, at least you got your own one. Though. Yeah, you did. All right. And the last one. Now, this is a bottle that Dave has open at his house right now that I know you just absolutely love. I do love it. Actually. It's the Smoke Wagon Winter Oak. Yeah. It is delicious. We have drank it. We have hung out with Aaron from Smoke Wagon, got to drink it, and it's awesome. It was awesome. Two are one of our favorite bottles all of last year. Now see, I mean the last like, dude. Oh man! <laughs> now you see where I kind of screwed up is like I don't have one that's open right now, and I'm waiting for an occasion to open them. Yeah. Um, I wish I wish I would have said something like, "Hey, just go and bring that bottle over today." My second favorite from last year is was it your second? I mean, the seventeen year was seventeen was your first. You like that more than Jack Daniel's Small Batch Quail? It's more of a regular, would be more of a regular drinker for me. Oh, well, I mean, you know, I guess if William Heaven Hill 15 year, it can be more of a regular drinker. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> the Coy Hill small batch, <laughs> like, you didn't want to drink it that much because there's a 375. It's a little guy. It's a little guy. It packs a punch. Uh, uh, I mean, it was awesome, too. Yeah. All right, so maybe my third favorite bottle. I, I, so, it's in my top three. Okay. Whatever it was. And this is one of my favorite of this year. You see, I, I would actually say I agree with you. I think so far this year, for me, it's the Michter's 10-year, Jack Daniels 12, and then that winner. Up. Mine would probably be Michter's 10, this, then the 12-year. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> see, this is all I wanted. I just wanted him just to like. I really it. wish I could drink both of these right now just to decide. I know. I probably screwed up by not saying that. But alas, we are here. We are here. We are here, and no one likes to see dead silence in videos. <laughs> and so I'm going to try not to, and I'm just going to go with my gut. And my gut says that the William Heaven Hill 15 is such an awesome bottle that I can't turn my back on it, even though it is so last year. <laughs> <laughs> but last year was a good year, so I'm gonna stick with the William Heaven Hill 15. It's a great one, until this year and that 17 year with 120 proof comes out and smokes that one. You know what's gonna happen? It probably is gonna happen. It's probably gonna happen. Uh, I, I mean, is that the last one? That's the last one. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I kind of enjoy doing this one. I, I think so too. It's fun. It's a little torturous. It's you know making you choose between favorite children. Hey, y'all, do me a favor. Please don't let this uh, this video die on the vine like my uh, <laughs> like, like my who makes the best <laughs> old fashioned video. Yeah, uh, this is much better. Uh, this was a much better idea. So uh, yeah, um, um, 
I'm probably going to have a pour of this before. No, uh, I won't. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, hit that like, subscribe, notifications button. And if you guys really did like this video, please let us know in the comments For below. Sure. We will continue at some point in time. We'll do like my version of it, yeah. basically, like where Dave goes through and he picks bottles that he knows I love and I have to pick between favorite children. King 18 versus King 15. He's <laughs> in 15. <laughs> And King fifteen twenty twenty, King fifteen twenty twenty one. Oh, it's a little more complicated. Yeah. Anyways, my point being is, uh, you guys are the ones who get to dictate the content inside the content. For sure. So please For sure. let us know in the comments below. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.